be sad if I'm Alexa. Bow your heads with me for the opening prayer. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your Sabbath day and for blessing us and for keeping us safe during the week, for providing for our families and keeping us healthy and alive. There are so many people who have gotten ill or died from COVID-19, but you have chosen to keep us alive and well. We pray for a special blessing on all the Pathfinders who will be taking part in today's program. Bless our Pathfinders, leaders, and everyone who will join us today online. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Welcome everyone to the Ypsilanti Navigators Pathfinder Day. I am Shauna Reed, director of the club, and I am welcoming everybody and glad that you all have logged on. I just have one little problem. Um, we have been, we've continued to do virtually every, every other week, but the physical part is missing and, it, and it, it bothers me. I think we might be getting a little rusty, you know, with we haven't had drill, drum practice, none of that stuff. And I just think we're getting a little rusty. Case in point, let me, let me show you what I mean. Deputy Director Charmy Weems, front and center. Good morning, good, good morning, Director Reed. Good morning and happy Sabbath. Same to you. Attention, right face, left face, about fit. Slow down, my brain has to get in drill mood. I can do it, try again. I'm ready. Attention, check, present arms, or case in point. Like yeah, I was saying. You're right. We're a little rusty, we're yeah. a little rusty, but we just wanna let you know that by the grace of God, the navigators have continued. We have continued to keep going and we can show you better than we can tell you. We'll tell you why the navigators are bold. Bold beyond, beyond belief. belief. The Pathfinder Pledge is, by the grace of God, I will be pure, kind, and true. I will keep the Pathfinder Law. I will be a servant to God and a friend to men. The Pathfinder Law is for me to keep a morning watch, do my honest part, care for my body, keep a level eye, courteous and obedient, walk softly in the sanctuary, keep a song in my heart, and go on God's errands. The Pathfinder motto is... The love of Christ compels me. The TLT pledge is, loving the Lord Jesus, I promise to be an active part in the work of the teen leadership training program, doing what I can to help others and to finish the work of the gospel in all the world. Oh, we are the Pathfinder Strong. I'm Sean Lemon, and this is Why It End. We'll be talking with the Ypsilanti Navigators Pathfinder Club, who will be talking about how to stay positive and keep a level eye while going through the worst pandemic they have ever encountered. They state that they will remain bold beyond belief regardless of what's taking place on this earth. Joining me now is Kennedy a Ypsilanti Pathfinder who will shed some light on how to be bold beyond belief in a virtual world. Thank you for joining us. Glad to be here, Sean. Thanks for inviting me. Tell us, Kennedy, how can we remain positive or, should I say bold beyond belief, as you stated, when we're going through this terrible pandemic? I mean, millions of people are dying from this disease, and your message to the world is, be positive, be bold beyond belief. What's up with that, Kennedy? Well, Sean, we've been in a pandemic ever since Adam and Eve sin. It's called the sin virus instead of the coronavirus, and all of us are infected with it. In fact, everyone was doomed to die an eternal death if it wasn't for Jesus, who, because he loves us, decided to die in our place. 
And that's found in John 3.16 of the Bible, Sean. So what you're saying is the sin virus is a lot worse than the, the coronavirus? That's right. The worst thing that could happen to us is to miss heaven because we didn't allow Jesus to cure us from this sin virus by letting him in our heart and all who believe this message and take it to the world is bold beyond belief. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. If Jesus is in your heart and you're obeying him, you are definitely bold beyond belief. And you should not be fearful of the terrible things that are happening on this earth. Thank you for joining us today, Kennedy. Thank you for having me, Sean. Joining me now is Isaac another Ypsilanti Pathfinder who is also bold beyond belief. He will give us a new and different perspective on one of the CDC guidelines. Thanks for joining us, Isa. You're welcome, Sean. It's good to be here. Okay, Isa. Now, one of the CDC guidelines is to help protect us from the COVID-19 pandemic is to constantly, consistently wash your hands. Is this something that your group feels is necessary or should we be focused on something else as well? Well, Sean, that's a good question. First, let me say that it's extremely necessary to follow the CDC guidelines on hand sanitation. But I want to take you a little further. I want us to look at the spiritual aspect of true sanitation. In Psalms 51 verse 7, it says, Purge me with hyssop and I shall become clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Not just my hands, Sean, but my whole body as well. Meaning we need to be spiritually clean? You got it, Sean. And the only way we can do that is to do what it says in 1 John 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us. I mean, truly cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So every time we wash our hands, we should be reminded that we want Jesus to wash away our sin so we can be whiter than snow. And what can wash away our sins, folks? Nothing but the blood of Jesus, Sean. We want to take a look at some upcoming events. Thank you so much, Isaac. Thank you for sharing that with us. We want to take a look at some uh, upcoming events that the Ypsilanti Navigator Pathfinder Club has in store for us in the year of 2021. We'll be right back. Here's an overview of the Ypsilanti Navigator Flask of the Past. We were excited to have our induction service with our LRC coordinators present. Our TLTs make sure that the Pathfinder stayed in line. We inducted six Pathfinders and our TRPs were a great help as our kids became proud Ypsilanti navigators. Even our adventures were present. At some times, we paused for a celebration or a discipline. We went out and supported our sister churches and our Pathfinders surely enjoyed it. We also took a trip to the museum and learned a lot about our history. One of our favorite parts of being a Pathfinder is drumming. We practice together, sometimes with other clubs, and we can go on for hours and hours and hours, sometimes getting tired, but we kept going and going until we got it right. On a cold, Spring day, we went out to complete our maple sugar honor, and we learned a lot. This is how we are, bold beyond belief.
Welcome back. I'm Tabby Phillips, and this is YNN. We've been talking about the CDC guidelines for the corona pandemic and how a group of young people who say they are bold beyond belief are taking this to a whole new level. Joining me is Cameron and Abney, TLTs, which stands for Team Leaders in Training from the Ypsilanti Pathfinder Club, who will give us more insights on CDC guidelines, particularly about wearing a mask wherever we go. We'll talk first with Cameron. Welcome, Cameron. Thank you, Tabby. It's good to be here. So tell us, Cameron, how serious should we be regarding wearing a mask everywhere we go? Have people become slack? What is your take on this? Well, Tabby, we do believe that wearing a mask is definitely a precaution that we all should do during this pandemic. But I believe that we should take a much greater precaution. Our minds should be focused on not just wearing a mask to protect against the coronavirus, but we should follow what it says in Ephesians 6, 10 through 12. Let's now hear from Abney. Abney, what about Ephesians 6, 10 through 12, and what it has to do with wearing a mask? Well, let me give you another metaphor. The most important facial protection that the Lord wants us to wear is not just a mask to protect us from the coronavirus, but a helmet to protect us from the evil thoughts, evil things we see, hear, say, and even the bad things that we eat. It's called the helmet of salvation. Okay, I'm um, sorry, but is this helmet something you can see, or are we talking about a spiritual helmet? It's a spiritual helmet because we're not fighting against flesh and blood, Tabby. We're fighting against spiritual wickedness, against the devil. So if we think good thoughts, if we choose to watch and hear things that are uplifting, if we guard what we say and eat things that are healthy, then we are wearing a spiritual helmet of salvation. So what you're saying is when we wear our corona mask, it should remind us that we should daily wear this helmet of salvation, which reminds us to uh, watch what we see, hear, say, and even eat. I got it, I got it. Correct, because our eternal life is much more important than our earthly life down here. And whatever we do, we should always remember that the heavenly, we should focus on the heavenly rather than the earthly. Well, thank you, Cameron and Abby. Thank you, Tabby. It was nice sharing our thoughts with you. You call me out upon the water, the great unknown. found you in the mysteries, in oceans deep, my faith will stand, and I will call upon your name, and keep my eyes above the waves, when oceans rise, my soul will rest your embrace for I am yours and you are mine oh you are mine your grace abounds in deepest waters your sovereign hand will be my guide. Where feet may fail and fear surrounds me, you never failed and you won't start now. So I will call. My eyes above the waves, where no 
emotions rise my soul will rest in your embrace for i am yours and you are mine oh you are mine you are mine spirit lead me where my trust is without borders let me walk upon the waters wherever you will call me take me deeper than my feet could ever wander and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my savior spirit lead me where my trust is without borders let me walk upon the waters wherever you will call me take me deeper than my feet could ever wander and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my savior and educational. Now, we'll hear from two other bold beyond belief pathfinders who will give us some more inspirational thoughts, this time on the CDC's guidelines on social distancing. Welcome, Gabriella, and welcome, Sonaj. Gabriella, what can you tell us about the CDC guidelines of standing at least six feet from those who are not in our households? Does that make sense to you guys or what? That does make sense. And that is a guideline that should be followed. It reminds me that we should social distance ourselves from sin so we won't be tempted. Yeah, but we need to be a lot more than six feet. We pull what we're talking about on this song. Can we sing it to you? That would be great. Go right ahead. If you want to go to heaven, you better read James 4, 7. You got to keep a social distance on your knees. If you're tempted and cannot focus, you better run, run like yourself. Resist the devil and the Bible says he will flee. Oh, he will flee. Oh, he will flee. And cannot focus. You better run, run like Joseph. Say no to the devil, and the Bible says he will flee. Oh, he will flee. Oh, he will flee. Resist the devil, and the Bible says he will flee. If you're tempted and cannot focus, you better run, run like Joseph. Say no to the devil, and the Bible says he will flee. The 
social distancing guidelines should remind us to stay away from sin by redis resisting the devil. You're saying that when you do that, he'll flee from you? Yep, it keeps us both beyond belief. Wow, I hope we can keep all these metaphors in our head as we go on throughout this pandemic. My name is Tabby Phillip, and this is YNN. And we're back. Joining me is Samaria and Gabriel two members who are very excited about being bold beyond belief. So, we'll start with you, Samaria. We've been hearing about the other members of the Ypsilanti Navigator Pathfinder Club explain how they're able to cope with all the terrible things that are occurring on this earth. They say they are bold beyond belief because they focus their attention on the spiritual and not so much the literal of this pandemic. So, talk to us about the CDC guidelines and are the Pathfinders excited about this new breakthrough or what? Well, we're praying that the vaccination will help fight the virus, but we're more concerned with the vaccination that I know for sure will cure the sin virus. Oh, so there's a vaccination that cures the sin virus? Tell us more about that, Samaria. Well, here's what we know. We know that the sin virus is breaking God's commandments. We know that we were, all were born in sin through Adam and Eve, and that we all were doomed to die. We know that Jesus took our place and he died for us. And here's the vaccination piece to all of this. Here is the cure. The only way for us to be cured of the sin virus, we must allow the Holy Spirit to control our minds and give us the power to stay away from the sin virus. So, the Holy Spirit is the vaccination for the sin virus? Yes, and unlike the coronavirus vaccination, we need a fresh dose of the Holy Spirit's vaccination daily. Two doses will not be enough. Vaccines usually come with some side effects. Gabriel, can you please tell us about the side effects of the Holy Spirit vaccine? Oh, the side effects are wonderful. You become lovable, peaceful, kind, gentle, you have self-control, and you have joy, patience, faith, and it gives you a desire to study God's word and become just like Jesus. Mm. It means, it says it right here in Ephesians 5 verses 22 and 23. Oh, I've got to look that up. So. When we think of the corona vaccination, it should remind us to be vaccinated daily with the Holy Spirit's vaccine, the only cure for the sin virus. And when Jesus comes to take us to heaven, the sin virus will never come back. That sounds wonderful. Well, thank you, Samaria and Gabriel, for those inspiring words. And I hope that everyone hearing this will take it to heart. Thank, thank you, you, Tabby. We, we enjoyed, enjoyed being here. here. Let's take another break and look at what the Pathfinders have in store for this upcoming 2021 year. Here's what's to come from the Ypsilanti Navigators in the year 2021. When the autumn leaves begin to fall, give the Ypsilanti Navigators a call. Pathfinders share, they're never greedy. Look forward to a community garden for the needy. November, the Pathfinders are winners. Sickle cell patients will be giving a Thanksgiving dinner. And this coming December, the Pathfinders will still uplift. Sickle cell patients will be receiving Christmas gifts. These are just a few reasons why the Ypsilanti Navigators are bold beyond belief. My name is Sean Lemon, and this is YNN. We're back, and so far we've been learning how the CDC guidelines for this pandemic has a spiritual connection to it. The Ypsilanti Navigator Pathfinder Club lets us know that we can stay positive and cheerful during this pandemic if we focus on the positive things and, and not let what's going on on this earth depress us. 
Joining me now is our two last guests, Jody and Charmy. They are two Pathfinder instructors who's going to talk to us about how the Pathfinders can still be bold beyond belief, even though everything is virtual or on Zoom. Thanks for being here, Jody and Charmy. Thanks for having us. We look forward to talking with you. So, talk to us, Jody. How is this Zoom school and Zoom church thing working? Are you comfortable with this being the new normal for you? What's up? Well, it's certainly not ideal, Sean, but, you know, we try to stay uh, connected as much as possible. You know, it's just like staying connected with Jesus. Even though we can't see him or touch him, but we know he's there because he said he would never leave us or forsake us. So doing everything virtual just reminds us that Jesus is everywhere at all times for each and every one of us. And you know what? Through prayer, we have 24-7 access to him, Sean. So, it's always free. So, Sean, whether you like it or not, Zoom has become part of our normal. And if we look at what um, John 15, 5 says, it says that Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. So, it's just like he is the host and we are the participants. We have to stay connected to the host at all times. And if we do, he will not just make us bold, but he will make us bold beyond belief. And Sean, that is really something that needs to be part of our normal. Oh, that, that makes a lot of sense, Jody and Charmy. I, I, I never thought of it that way. Thanks for sharing that with us. You're welcome, Sean. Thanks for having us. This has been very inspiring, and I don't feel as fearful and uncertain as I did before. Thank you, Pathfinders, for these heavenly insights. And now, a final message from these young people who are bold beyond belief. Now, we hope you got our message on how to live by not focusing on the negative. We know the world is messed up. There's no need to shout it. It ain't nothing that we can't do about it. This is just the beginning. We gotta lean on him. This ain't the time to let our life grow dim. We must continue to study. We must continue to pray. We must ask for the Holy Spirit every day. And when Jesus comes back to us, he won't be a thief. And that's why we're bold beyond belief. Because we're bold beyond belief. Because we're bold beyond belief. Do it again. Because we're bold beyond belief. Because we're bold beyond belief. The Ypsilanti Navigator Pathfinder Club is supported by the Ypsilanti Seventh-day Adventist Church in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Just call the number on your screen for these special services, 1716-940-1523. The Ypsilanti Navigator serves the community, sick and shut-in, and senior members ages 65 and up. If you would like to donate to the Ypsilanti Navigator Pathfinder Club, please go to the ipsysda.net website. Click Adventist Giving. Once on the link, you can select Pathfinders and you can donate that way. Or you can send in a tithe envelope to the Ypsilanti Seventh-day Adventist Church at 402 South Adams, Ypsilanti, Michigan, 48197. Please write in Pathfinders on the tithe envelope. Thank you. All right, thank you. I hope you guys were blessed and you enjoyed the program today. I do want to just uh, send out a few thank yous. Um, I would like to thank my, first of all, Deputy Director Charmy Weems, and I would like to thank all my staff, uh, Tamika Witherspoon and Jody Perry. Um, of course, you know I have to thank my mom, uh, Roberta Perry, because she wrote uh, she wrote the whole program out. Um, I want to thank her, and I also have something really special that I want to show you guys. Um, but I do want to thank my mother and my sister, uh, Nikki Perry, also, because she also does writing and all of my uh, uh, flyers. And Shane, Shane Desan, he did flyers also for me, and he's at my TLT. So I just want to thank all of my staff, and I have a special, special little clip I want to show you. Thank you, and God bless.
in Psalm 127, 3. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a real blessing. God loves children and he listens to us. Our Father in heaven, we know that you listen to the prayers of all your children. We know that you love us. We thank you for the Pathfinder Club that teaches us to love you more. We thank you for our Pathfinder leaders who work hard with us. We thank you for the opportunity for the Pathfinders to have a special day at church. We thank you for the Sabbath day that we don't have to go to school. We pray for all the members of our churches and visitors who joined us today. Bless them all, take care of them in all their needs. Heal those who are sick and comfort those who are in pain. Restore your love in the hearts of everyone so that this world will be a better place. We have not been to church in a long time. Please work it out so we can return to church again. We long for you to come in for us and take us to heaven with you. Come for us quickly. Thank you for answering our prayers. Amen.